everyone, this is Helen and welcome to Modern Pepper. So, guess what time it is? It is time for cocktails! So today's video is one of my soju cocktail series and today we will be making soju cocktail with persimmons and persimmons in Korean is called kam. Right now kam is in season so if you have not tried persimmons give it a try it's crunchy and it's sweet. For today's cocktail you need one persimmon that's a little bit soft that's been sitting out on your kitchen counter for a couple days so it's not as firm as this one and persimmons are meant to be eaten both ways you could have it sort of really firm and crunchy or you could kind of have it really soft and when it's soft of course it's a bit more sugary in taste so they're both good but we need two of these one kind of soft and one kind of firm so I have my martini glass with some water and ice and it's always important to chill your martini glass and if you happen to have extra space in your freezer of course you could put your martini glass in there for about a good 10 minutes but I don't have that luxury because my freezer is always packed always packed so the firm persimmons we're gonna put to the side and we need the soft one and what you want to do is just remove the base right here like so cut it in half and if you want more subtle taste of persimmons just use half of a persimmon but I'm going to use a whole one so what you want to do is slice your persimmons thin and I have a mixing glass put your sliced persimmons in here and using a muddler just mash it down so as you mash it just turn your glass around like so And you want it so that your persimmon is mashed up like that. It took all of 30 seconds, not that bad. And this is our soju that we're gonna use. The one that I like the most is called Chamisu Fresh Soju. It just has a very cleaner taste, but soju in general is pretty clean in taste. And for those of you who are asking, what is soju? So, basically soju is Korea's national distilled beverage. It's sort of what vodka is to Russians. So for more on soju, please check out how to make soju shots. And in that video, I share a handy trick that you could kind of whip out in front of your friends and impress them. Make sure to check that out. But soju in general is, is consumed neat. But I also like to make cocktails out of them. So for me, one of the benefits of drinking soju um, instead of vodka and gin is that soju is far, far, far less in alcohol content, but it still does the trick. I mean, it'll still make you feel good. I mean, if it doesn't make you feel good, why drink cocktails, right? And then the other thing is soju is a bit more economical compared to vodka or gin bottles. And this too, like vodka, has a very smooth and clean finish. Soju is very versatile and you can make loads of different cocktails out of them. So I also have a video on soju lemon drop cocktail. I also make martinis out of soju cocktails. So you could check that out. And I also make soju mojitos, which is perfect, especially during summers so on a sunny afternoon. And the next cocktail that we'll be making is soju coffee cocktail yep it is really good it's sort of your Korean version of white Russian cocktail and I make it so that it's super easy and low on calories so make sure to subscribe because that will be the next soju cocktail that I'll be making by clicking on that pink button that you see over there in the corner it says subscribe Make sure to click on that so that you will be notified when I make the soju coffee cocktail. It is so good. And it's also one of my favorite dessert cocktails to make. After you've had your dinner, nobody really wants to have a full on dessert, but that soju coffee cocktail will do the trick because it kind of perks everyone up while still giving you a little bit of that, you know, revving alcohol in your system. So it's one of my go-to dessert drinks. So make sure to subscribe so we can make that cocktail together. So open up your soju. And one thing about soju bottle caps, they're super sharp. I mean, you could literally cut yourself and I've seen a lot of people do it at dinner tables. So just be very, very careful. Remove this part, this guard. To this, we're gonna add one and a half ounce shots. I'm gonna add two and three. 
So three shots of an ounce and a half. The cap goes back on and you can just put this aside and use it for next time. When I make my cocktails, I tend to make them very, very light in sweetness. I don't really like anything too sweet, especially in my cocktails, but that is your choice. You can make your cocktail the way you like it. If you like it really sweet, add more. I have Cointreau and this is a really great liqueur mixer. And it smells so good. So to this, I'm gonna add a three quarter ounce of Cointreau to here. We're gonna pour this into our mixer like so. And I'm gonna add a few cubes of ice, about four or five cubes of ice in here. There we go. And I'm gonna put my glass top on, tap it a couple times, and then we shake it. When you shake your cocktails, because of the cold temperature inside, it's like almost vacuum sealed and it's kind of impossible to pull off. So what you wanna do is, right here on the metal rim, you just wanna tap it and it comes right off like that. Or else if you try to pull it off, you might just pull it off and everything might spill everywhere, which happened to me before. So don't do that. And to this, we're gonna add a little bit of lemon zest. So using your vegetable peeler, just peel some off and then just spritz it in here and then drop it in. We're also gonna add fresh mint leaves. So I'm adding about four mint leaves. Then we're gonna take your muddler and just stab a couple times. We're almost there, this is really quick. And then put your glass cup back on and then shake a couple more times. Very good. Now tap it to release, voila. And our glass is ready. So I'm gonna discard the ice water. I always like to add a little bit of that subtle lemon zest to my cocktails. Here's a big piece of lemon zest and you just wanna twist it on top to release the oil into your martini glass. And then you take the zest, go around the rim like so, just to coat the rim with the lemon zest oil. And then you also rub it in the stem too. So that when you go to pick up your cocktail, like when you go pick it up, you get a whiff of this like really nice lemon zest fragrance. I mean, it's so, lovely already so before we pour our cocktail into our glass i always like to do a taste so take a straw take a little bit and then taste oh that's so good like the fresh juice from the persimmons oh it's so lovely and then for me the amount of poncho that we added is a perfect amount of sweetness but if you like it sweeter this is when you taste it and then you could adjust the sweetness by adding more Cointreau and I think for me sweetness and saltiness is so personal so I always tell people to taste it and then adjust it to your liking right I mean you should have your cocktail the way you like and not you know based on how someone else likes it I'm gonna take a strainer and pour our delicious persimmon soju cocktail in here Ooh, look at that. That looks really good. So we're gonna put this down and I'm gonna just move the liquid around so it strains and here we go. Look at that. Ooh. For all the cocktail gadgets that I'm using today, I will have links for you to purchase them online. So make sure to check out the description box below. And this goes for all of my video recipes. A detailed list of all the ingredients along with the written recipe instructions will be available at modernpepper.com. All right, so this is ready. Now we wanna garnish our cocktail. I mean, as is is pretty too, but you know, we wanna showcase how pretty persimmon is. So cut a piece of persimmon you know not too thin if it's too thin it'll flop over but somewhat thick enough like so and then you want to make a little cut at the bottom and then you just slip it in like so voila now the other final touch is get some fresh mint and find the little piece that's budding like so like this little tiny piece is pretty and then we're just gonna tuck it in right where the cut starts like that. I mean, look at that. Look how pretty that is. It is so the colors of Thanksgiving. It's so pretty. I mean, the only thing left to do now is to taste 
and drink it. So I also want to make it absolutely clear that in the States, you have to be 21 and older to purchase and to consume alcohol. So my viewers out there that are under 21, you must wait until you're 21 to consume this. But you could certainly make this alcohol free too. Just don't add the soju and just use club soda. I'm gonna have a taste. I mean, look how pretty this is, right? So you would only make this cocktail for people you really, really like. <laughs> Why make it for people you don't kind of like? Anyone have a sip? Um, that is good. The freshness of the persimmon juice, I mean, the fragrance is so lovely. And it has a little bit of that tart taste too that persimmon is known for. And then the taste of soju is so subtle, I can't even really taste it. So you have to be careful. You might just like end up chugging it real fast. And the sweetness for me is a perfect amount that just rounds up the taste of the alcohol taste. And you know what? <laughs> You know, Thanksgiving holidays is great time to get together with friends and family. And, and you know, most of the time it's great, but sometimes there's, there's always a sprinkle of drama or sometimes it's a dollop of drama and sometimes it's drenched in drama. So for me, I make sure I have a really good cocktail and then automatically the invisible earplugs go in. <laughs> yes. There's a such thing, <laughs> invisible earplugs. It goes in and then I have a really nice cocktail in hand and then I look forward to a lovely meal and all is good. You know, if you can't hear, you can't get involved in the drama, right? Anyway, I'm not implying that you guys have drama in your family, but I think most families do. So I hope you enjoy this cocktail. So now you could also make this cocktail a little bit more on, on the lighter side. So what I do is I put it in a nice heavy cocktail glass and I take one of these ginormous ice cubes, put one in here, get a little bit of club soda and then just top it off. And then I have a slice of persimmons, just slip it in there. I have a pretty piece of fresh mint. I'm gonna drop it in here like so. And look at that. It's fuzzy and it's so pretty. And then I'm just gonna give it a swirl. Oh, this smells so good. Somebody has to make sure the cocktails taste good. So I will do that for you. Cheers. Mm, this is so good too. I mean, because the club soda kind of lightens the taste of this drink. So this is so good that I would make sure you drink this slowly too. Because this, you really cannot taste the alcohol at all. This one, you could taste alcohol just a little bit, which I love. But for some, this might be a little too strong. So. These are my two easy soju cocktails that you can make at home. I hope you enjoy it with your friends and family. I say goodbye to family drama. And yes, to having loads of fun with friends and family. And yes, sometimes it is okay to double fist. <laughs> I'm not encouraging you to do that, but sometimes it's okay. <laughs> so I wanna thank everyone for watching this video. And if you enjoyed watching it, I would greatly, greatly appreciate a thumbs up. So make sure to click on that thumbs up icon below. And if you make this cocktail at home, take a picture of it, share it on your social media, and please tag Modern Pepper. I would love to see how it turned out for you. And lastly, I would greatly, greatly appreciate it if you would subscribe to my channel by clicking on that pink button there at the corner so that we could connect every Thursday because Thursday is the day that I upload new videos. So my goal is to share the yummy yumminess of Korean cuisine with you and your family. So I would greatly appreciate it if you would subscribe. So I want to thank you again for watching and I want to say happy cocktail time. And of course, always, always, always drink responsibly. And I just want to say thank you so much for watching. I'm going to have a taste again. Mm. So good. And then of course I have to drink this one too. So anyway, cheers. <laughs>